Hey everyone, what we have here is the iPhone 5 and I'm gonna show you a bunch of cool tricks that you can use to improve the battery life on your iPhone 5. The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to turn on that battery percentage meter. If you look in the top right hand corner of my iPhone 5, you can see it tells me exactly what my percentage is at right now. So the first thing you wanna do is go to settings, general, usage, and then go to battery percentage right near the bottom right there. So if you just go in and switch that on or off, as you can see when I switch it on or off, my battery percentage meter goes on and off. The next thing you'll wanna do is go adjust your auto lock so that you have your phone automatically dim and lock your phone whenever you're not using it. A lot of people keep it on an extended time, so when you put your phone down, you're always just running your battery when you're not using your phone. So first thing you'll wanna do is go into settings, then go general, and then go down to auto lock. And as you can see, mine's on one minute, which is the lowest setting. That's the one you wanna have it on. Um, if you keep it on never, your screen's never gonna shut off. It's always gonna stay on. So make sure you always keep it on one minute. The next thing is uh, probably one of the most obvious things. It's to turn off your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi. Um, so you'll go into settings again, go to Wi-Fi, and you can see I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network right now. But what you'll wanna do is just shut off your Wi-Fi completely when you're not using it. So you just switch that right there, there we go. And then you'll wanna go into Bluetooth and make sure that's on off as well. Uh, those always uh, use your network, so it's always connecting to Wi-Fi or connecting to Bluetooth if you keep those on. So if you're out and about in the day, keep those off and your battery life will improve hugely. The next thing you wanna do is adjust your screen brightness. So go into settings, go down to brightness and wallpaper, and adjust that brightness down to, most people can uh, go around 50% or so, and just leave that at that, and go turning auto brightness off so that your screen doesn't auto completely dim and undim and whatnot. So make sure you keep your brightness down to around 50% if you really can. The next thing I notice is probably one of the biggest improvements to my battery life is turning off LTE. LTE is something that a lot of areas don't support right now. So if you keep LTE on, you're always going in and out of an LTE or a 3G, 4G area. So you just wanna completely shut LTE off if you're not using it to download. Web surfing, you're not gonna notice any difference as you've just run on 3G. So go into settings, go into general and cellular, and then enable LTE, switch that to off, and you'll notice a dramatic increase in your battery life. The next thing you wanna do is shut off location services or at least adjust them. So go into settings, privacy, location services. If you leave those on, you can adjust each one individually. If you see this little arrow right there, that means that you've used GPS on that within the last 24 hours. So if you go to your devices or all your apps actually, and if there's some apps that you don't use on a regular basis that have that there, just sh shut them off or you can just shut off any ones on these apps if you really don't use them, because um, like Twitter I barely use, um, weather apps not a big deal, can leave that. But uh, if you really wanna improve your battery life just completely, you can just completely shut it off right at the top right there. Turn off, there we go. And that'll improve your battery life for sure. But if you really wanna use those location services, so you can sort of use the mapping and use Facebook for tagging and all, then you wanna adjust them manually. And last but not least, I would recommend adjusting your mail settings so that your mail is on fetch rather than push or manual settings for retrieving your mail. So we'll go into settings, go down to mail, and I've got a bunch of different mails in here. So you wanna make sure that fetch new data is on, I've got it on push right now. So you wanna either put it on manually or just turn it off completely which turns fetch on. And fetch means that you can actually go in and you can actually check your mail manually. If you really want push email, you can keep it on every 50 minutes or every 30 minutes, but just to note that will definitely uh, reduce the battery life on your phone. That's gonna wrap it up guys. If you have any other battery suggestion ideas, please leave them in the comments below and I'll include them in my next video. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you on my next review. Bye bye.